Welcome to CFA Vol. This is a virtual world which contains the CFA Level 1 syllabus in staggeringly easy to remember format. It's got a really simple layout, just a straight row with 10 locations on it. Each of the locations is associated with a specific element of the syllabus. As you explore these locations, you'll meet characters and witness stories that will enable you to commit the CFA level content to your long-term memory. Each of the locations is associated with an image that helps you first to locate it in the right 1 to 10 order. This is done by a rhyming connection. So the first location is associated with an image linked to a gun, which rhymes with one. The second is associated with an image linked to a shoe, which rhymes with two. It carries on like this up to 10. So three is tree, four is door, five is hive, six is sticks, seven is heaven, eight is plate, nine is mine, and 10 is hen. We use the same gun to hen, one to 10 rhyming connection throughout all of our materials, so you'll get very used to them. The locations are also linked to an image that allows you to associate the location with a particular part of the syllabus. The easiest way to see how this works is to explore the village and look at each location in turn. The first is here. It's the CFAVIL Law Court, where the Ethics and Professional Standards syllabus is covered. You know it's the first location because it's covered in bullet holes that have been caused by a gun. And a gun rhymes with one. By then associating the law courts with ethics and professional standards, you can easily remember that the first element of the CFA syllabus is ethics and professional standards. As you explore the law courts in more detail, you'll find further locations that will take you deeper and deeper into the ethics and professional standards syllabus. The second is here, it's the giant shoe. Now think shoe equals two, which equals the second location. The giant shoe has a price tag on it. But in order to work out the price, you need to work out an equation. As such, this location represents the quants part of the syllabus. The third location is here. It's the Econome village. Now the Economes are a tribe of gnomes who live in Seafavel, and they're very, very ecologically aware. They all wear green hats to show their Economes, and as such, this is where the economic syllabus is covered. You know it's the third location because the Economes all live in tree houses, and tree rhymes with three. The fourth location is a large door, which leads to the CFAVIL accountant's office. Accountants generate financial reports, so this is where the financial reporting and analysis part of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the fourth location because door rhymes with four. The fifth location is a beehive where alongside the bees, lots of ants live. Well, these ants are all very well dressed and wear ties. Some of them wear bow ties and some of them wear business ties. So this tells you that they are either corporate ants or fine ants. So collectively, they are corporate fine ants. Therefore, this location is where the corporate finance element of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the fifth location because the ants all live in beehives and hive rhymes with five. The sixth location is the CFAVIL library. It's built on a large set of thick sticks. The library holds a lot of books and books can also be referred to as portfolios. Therefore, this is where the portfolio management element of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the sixth location because the library is built on sticks and sticks rhymes with six. The seventh location is a paddock up in heaven and in it are a number of angelic horses drinking cups of tea. Equine is Latin for horse. So what you have here is equine tea, literally horses drinking tea. So as such, this is where the equity, equine tea, equity part of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the seventh location because not only are these horses drinking tea, but they're all angels as well and live in heaven. And heaven rhymes with seven. The eighth location, the CFAVIL notice board. It's a strange notice board because it's sat on top of a massive plate. The notice board has some cash pinned to it, so this cash is fixed to the notice board. As such, this is where the fixed income part of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the eighth location because the notice board is on a plate, and plate rhymes with eight. 
The ninth location is the CFAVEL Mine and Graveyard. Not only do they conduct mining operations here, but the mine doubles as a graveyard. So there are lots of bodies lying under the ground. Therefore it is associated with things that are underlying, and is thus where the derivatives part of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the ninth location because mine rhymes with nine. The tenth and final location is the CFAVEL Tattoo Parlor, which happens to be in a hen coop. Standing outside of the hen coop slash tattoo parlor is a large hen with a tattoo. Tattoos can kind of be associated with an alternative lifestyle, so this is where the alternatives part of the syllabus is covered. You know it's the tenth location because hen rhymes with ten. As you explore the different locations in more detail, you'll find the whole of the syllabus explained and linked in a similar, predictable and easy to remember way with some thing or someone in CFAVEL. What this means is that as you work through the Remember It materials, you will develop a virtual framework, which will enable you to memorize all the content you need for the exam quickly and easily.